Let's do a rivnut tutorial. For those of you that don't know, a rivet nut is a small uh, rivet that has threads on the inside. And you're going to use these in two areas on the Smith Ute. This particular one is a beetle being build, uh, built. And you use, this is the 1032 small little uh, screws that we use to mount the bed aluminum, this corrugated, to the underlying bed floor underneath. Now when you have these bars up front, those are quarter inch thick, all you do is drill and tap and then you know these 1032s can literally screw right into those bars. So we're not too worried about those. But when you're you know mounting your bed floor onto the trays front and back, there's the front tray up there and this is the back tray. When you're using this, this is only an eighth of an inch thick, which is really thick for you know uh, a bed but for fasteners, if you were to thread the fasteners, after a few years, they'd probably back out and get loose. And so a lot of guys, we include these riv nuts in the kit. And so we use them anytime we're fastening to the thinner eighth inch aluminum. And there's a trick. If you don't have a riv nut tool, this is what they look like installed. Uh, this is a Subaru taillight bracket, just for demonstration purposes. And it gives you a, a threaded rivet. To mount your pieces to. So that's what it looks like pulled. This is the, the early riv nut unpulled, and this is what it looks like pulled with a little shoulder on it. It's, it's pretty basic, simple stuff. But to put that pressure, to put the pressure on it that's required, the smaller one can use a regular, uh, you know, handheld rivet tool. With the bigger rivets, uh, and we use these riv nuts on the door strikers, the you know bolt to mount uh, you know the cable on the VW Beetle and down here for the hinge and the reason we use them uh, and these are eight millimeter riv nuts uh, the reason we use these bigger riv nuts on these eight millimeters is because after the body is installed it's difficult to reach the back side and loosen up the nut so if you want to adjust your hinge uh, striker here or your latch striker you would have to reach way up in there to reach the nut on the back side. So we decided you could have the option of using these riv nuts. And here's the trick. If you don't have a riv nut tool, here's how you set it up. Take a piece of scrap aluminum and drill your 8 millimeter or your 5 16 inch hole in this little scrap plate. In the kit, we give you these hex head grade 5s that are used to mount the aluminum you know to the fender well before you mount that use the same bolts to make a little mini riv nutter and I put a stack of washers on here to cover this you know uh, smooth shank and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this riv nut in the hole that you drill and the hole for the big riv nut is a 27 64th so this is a 27 64th hole that you're gonna drill this is gonna push in pretty tight and then you're going to tighten the 8 millimeter bolt, and the tightening of that bolt will pull the riv nut tight and give you this kind of a finished part. So that's the 8 millimeter. This is the 10. <laughs> this is the 1032 uh, riv nut, the smaller one for this tiny socketed caps. The smaller one is an 11 30 seconds hole. So you're going to drill an 11 30 seconds hole for your smaller riv nut. And double check that. I mean, if there's small little changes to the diameter, you want to drill the hole the exact size of the riv nut so that it pushes in pretty tight. Remember, this is aluminum. It's pretty soft. You can wiggle the drill and really uh, easily open it up. So always err on the small side when you're doing riv nuts. That's it. Good luck. This is the homespun favorite of mine. Uh, obviously, the big two-foot squeezing rivnut tool is the best, but if you're at home or stuck without it, that's how you put them in.